we move on to our next rounds. So here we see Donny Schmidt living in Belgium. He's leading the standings after the Italian and French Grand Prix. Just ahead of Stephen Averts and Bob Moore. But you can see there's not a lot in it at this stage in the championships. Second season in Europe. Is it a different season? Uh, <clears throat> I try not to look at it as a different season. I try to go about the races as I had last year and um, the tactics and the things that I've done with last year. I had kind of a system for the day and I'm trying to stay on that system, eating on time and doing only three laps in time practice and just little things like that. So basically so far it's gone the way I wanted it to. Why are you the only American who does so well on the sand? I don't know. I'm living in Belgium, so I've been practicing quite a bit in the sand, and also I, from Minnesota, and there's quite a bit of sand there when I was growing up in local tracks, so I think that's probably most of the reason. The other Americans that came over are mostly from California, where it's all hard, hard terrain. Now, does this track suit track like Willie this Surratt? Surratt? Nah, a track like this is about my worst nightmare. It's tough. I haven't. When I was younger, I rode in the sand quite a bit, and we moved to California for like the last 10 years, and I haven't ridden in the sand in 10 years. So I'm more of a hard pack rider right now. Why do you think the Americans are doing so well in Europe? Well, it's uh, we're going uh, really fast. You know, we have. Uh, good experience, a lot of time riding in the United States, and uh, we get a real aggressive, and uh, it's just, I don't know, it's difficult. I, I compare myself more as a European rider now than, than an American rider, since I, I stayed over here most of my professional career over here in Europe for six years now, so I, I don't really consider myself an American, but uh, I consider myself in the top three or four riders for sure. <laughs> Well, they certainly are in the top three or four at the moment. He's third in the championship after three rounds. 10,000 spectators here at Markello in Holland on the 11th and the 12th of May 1991. And Donny Schmidt opens the throttle and roars into the lead. Quite astounding start by the American on the Suzuki. Chasing hard by Everts as well. And also doing well is Marcel Van Vroenen in there. He certainly is second after the first lap. Everybody got away without any accidents at all. Thierry Godefried was uh, there as well. But look at that astounding lead that Schmidt has pulled out in this perfectly prepared track here. So Bartolini also in there as well. And Yves de Maria, Stefan Averts there too. So it's Donny Schmidt from Marcel Van Drunen. And if we have a look at some of the other World Championship standings at this stage, it might give you an idea. Tractor's fourth as we go into this event. Yves de Maria, the Frenchman on the Suzuki, is fifth. Marcel Van Drunen and Bill Sarrett are sixth going into this event. Bartolini is eighth. These are surely the riders we've got to keep an eye on here. The riders who are the hungriest for the championship. There goes Tractor, disappointed in Italy. And we can see Stephen Averts now on a machine prepared by his ex-world champion, many times world championship father, powering up through the field and trying to catch Donny Schmidt. And it's a shame because Averts had a fairly poor start. Marcel van Drunen is in second place still. Stephen Averts is now third on this sixth lap. 20 laps in this event here, and Yves de Maria, number eight, is in fourth position. And Pedro Tractor chasing right behind him as well. De Maria, not really a sand rider, but
but enjoying his ride here and you can see him being chased by a sand expert and he's putting up a very good show number eight the frenchman being chased by number three being chased by seven to his tractor of course so these three have got so much to gain in the championship even if they never catch donny schmidt at this stage this is where the battle is matthew gordon is our best britain at the moment and he's uh, quite a long way down but to keep your eyes open for number 41 he's uh, somewhere around 11th or 12th it'd be good for him to get a top 10 finish and give the brits uh, something to cheer for donny schmidt showing you what great motocross riding is all about and the crowd absolutely loving this here comes avitz stefan avitz started in 12th and he's moved up to second already marcel van one one two five cc world championship this is round three from Markello in holland donny schmidt leading so far ahead of the rest of the field he's already plowing his way through the back markers at this stage in second place stefan avitz has worked his way up into second Bobby Moore, who started way down in 17th spot, has now started chasing his way through the field. And he's up in 6th uh, or 7th place as we near the closing stages of this event. The first heat of the Dutch round. Pedro Trachter has done so well. He pulled up into 3rd place but has got a big problem with his uh, exhaust pipe at this stage as well. So let's have a look as they take the chequered flag. Donny Schmidt. The third time he's won out of the uh, five that we've already had so far, so good winning for Schmidt. I mean, five heats, not rounds. Now then, he wonders. This is Pedro Tractor looking over his shoulder his exhaust fell off and he thought he'd been excluded because he was making too much noise and he lost a place by not taking the flag he'd have ended up in fourth position maybe even third certainly fourth position what a shame as we move on to the second heat now then and the world championship battle really starting to hot up at this stage in may in 1991 and it looks uh, like Bobby Moore, who goes into that corner first and comes out being chased very hard by Donny Schmidt. So a couple of Suzuki's. Averts uh, is in fifth position after the first lap. Van Drunen is in sixth position. And we've also got uh, Matthew Gordon, who goes into that first lap in fourth position. So well done to the British rider. Let's see if he can hang on to that but he's already being overhauled by Pedro Tractor. Now then, this battle up the front end. We've got Bobby Moore being chased by, Ped, uh, by Donny Schmidt. And let's just see how these two great riders... Well, he's got a problem. He's, I think he's jumped too far. He's probably hurt, hurt his wrist or forearm. Apparently he was okay at the end of it all, but this is the battle and fantastic fearless riding from Donny Schmidt. Huge cheer from the crowd as he absolutely plows past, totally fearless. There's Yves de Meriard, really getting the feel of this riding here. He wasn't sure how he'd be able to adapt to the sand, but he's going beautifully. So at the moment, funnily enough, it's one, two, three, and the numbers of the riders are one, two, three, because Stephen Averts is in third position, Yves de Meriard, in fourth position. Marcel van Drunen in fifth position. So here we see Donny Schmidt. He's a good rider and he's really showing his skills here. Tractor, whoa! And he's riding wild efforts, isn't he? He's chasing Tractor really hard. Well, that was uh, 41, Matthew Gordon. He's doing okay at the moment still. He's still up there in the top 10. In fact, he's in sixth position at the moment. So, Tractor, 
He knows that Evans is behind him and it'd be interesting at this stage to see how the two get on. Tractor everyone thought would be the favourite but after Italy and France and the first heat here he's probably lost a bit of confidence. There's Stefan Evans riding nicely now. Yves de Maria looking good in the air nice and smooth trying to carry that speed through on the landing and that's the important thing. There's Matthew Gordon, number 41, the British rider, chasing hard in sixth position at the moment. He needs more support as Matthew Gordon, he needs more work support, but uh, my word he's doing well. So here's Tractor chasing Bobby Moore, and see them side by side, you get a good idea of how they're different, how their styles differ. Moore getting the best line into that corner and that of course is always the important thing. Well, Donny Schmidt just hammering through. He was second in the first lap and then first in all the other 19 laps. Bobby Moore was in second place in the first up to lap eight and then was beaten by Stefan Everts into third place. Everts in second place. And Yves de Maria ended up back in a fifth position. But a good third place for Pedro Tractor. Some of the other riders there, 27 is uh, Bernard Majan. 41 there, Matthew Gordon, who ended up... I'm going blind looking at the results here. He ended up back in 15th in the end, which was a great shame. He had a big problem on lap 14 and uh, lost about four or five places. Stefan Averts comes in second and third is Tractor. Look, Bob Moore fourth, Yves de Maria fifth. So if we have a look at the standings, Stefan Everts has got a little bit of work to do to catch Donny Schmidt. Uh, Bobby Moore 